Hello guys, welcome to my course Building REST APIs using AWS API Gateway and Python. Nowadays, serverless architecture patterns are gaining more and more popularity, and a lot of architects and developers showing interest in implementing the serverless architecture. Coming to this demo, I want to focus on developing a REST API using API Gateway, Lambda, and DynamoDB. API Gateway is fully managed AWS service that makes it easy for developers to create, manage, and deploy REST APIs at any scale. In our design, Lambda holds the business logic. When any client hits API Gateway, API Gateway passes on those details to Lambda. In Lambda, we can have a core business logic to process this information and store this information into DynamoDB. In this design, API Gateway, Lambda, DynamoDB all comes under serverless because you don't need to manage any servers. To get started with, let's first create table in DynamoDB. Let's get into DynamoDB. Create a table. Name this one as customers. Let's define primary key which is also called as a partition key. DynamoDB uses this key for calculating the hash. Accordingly, it creates partitions in the background, which drastically improves the performance of DynamoDB. Let's choose customer ID as a primary key. And I'm going with all default settings. Create the table. For this table, one and only mandatory attribute is customer ID. At runtime, along with customer ID, you guys can pass any additional attributes because DynamoDB supports dynamic schema. Now let's go and set up API in API Gateway. get started i don't want to go with example api i want to build my own custom api in this case let's say new api name let's call this one as customers api leaving the description part endpoint type i'm keeping just as regional create the api Okay. For this demonstration, I want to add customer data into Dynamo. Let's go and create a resource first. Name the resource. This is the name and this is the default path. If you want to change this path, go ahead and change the path. Let's create the resource. Under this resource, let me create a method. For posting information, create method. For this, I want to use post method to post the data to Dynamo. Click OK. Let's choose integration type. When client hits this method, I want to integrate that with Lambda function. API Gateway supports different integration types, but in this demo, I want to particularly focus on Lambda function. Let's go ahead and create Lambda function. Hit create function. Let's author from scratch. I'm naming this one as add customer. Runtime is Python 3. Our Lambda function needs permissions to access DynamoDB and CloudWatch to publish logs. I created one admin role which gives those permissions to Lambda function. Let's go with that. Create the function. Let's implement the code. Before persisting data into DynamoDB, let me show how to integrate API Gateway with Lambda. For this, convert this event, which is dictionary, into string. Otherwise, let's return this data back. Okay, save this function. 
get back to API Gateway. Link this post method with the Lambda function. Add customer. When client hits this method, the information is sent to this Lambda function. Save this. Allow API Gateway permissions to invoke Lambda function. Okay. All right. See this one. I'll talk more on these boxes later in other videos. But when we submit data from this post method, that information is sent to this Lambda function. This Lambda function doesn't have much business logic. It simply returns back the same data to the API gateway. Let's test this. In the next version, let's go and add a code which persists data to DynamoDB. So, test. This is the request body. Customer ID, let's say one, two, three, four. Customer name, some dummy name. Let's say location, Bangalore. This is the request body. When you guys hit test, this request body is sent to Lambda. Lambda is returning back this as it is to the API gateway. Let's test this guy. See that it's returning back this data as it is. This is how we integrate API gateways with Lambda function. Now let's go and implement Lambda code to persist data to DynamoD. Let's maximize this. We want to use Boto3 module for Dynamo. Let's check documentation. Go to 3 DynamoDB. Let's take this code. Let's put the table name DynamoDB. Table name is customers. Copy that. Okay. To put data into this Dynamo, there should be put item. This is the function we want to use. Put item. Item equals the object you want to put into this table. item equals data sent by api gateway is kept in this event object i want to persist this object as it is if you have any pre-processing logic you can do those things inside the function before persisting data into dynamo i want to just return a sample response like this and you can return any any response here I want to simply say code 200 message some meaningful message let's save this guy this table accepts customer id as a partition key this field is mandatory let's come back while testing the code right make sure we are passing this customer id some id customer name and location these are optional now let's test the code check the response we got this response from lambda function which says customer added successfully 
let's cross check data in the table refresh yeah we got information into DynamoDB table this is how we build rest apis using api gateway lambda and DynamoDB. clients and rest apis exchange information in the form of json that is why we submitted data from api gateway as a json object and same object we persisted into DynamoDB. Thank you.